Neat. How's it going, everybody? I'm some guy named Nate, and I am playing Rampa 2. We got two idiots in here. Hey, my hero, what do you want to talk about? A new island, huh? I should go find some clues, too. Eh, you can't. You promised to tie my kimono sash. Um, th that was... We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. Uh, but if we don't, hurry and go take a bath. Th they'll call me smelly again. They're going to bully me again. Yeah. Okay, then. Let's take a light shower first. Yay, Yay we're going to wash each other. <laughs> huh? huh? Wash each other? Hey. Hold on. I don't think that's a good idea for me to go in, too. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But, but, but... Oh, she is shy. Hooray. Oh. Come on, let's go. Yoko pulled my hero's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed over towards the cottages. Wash each other? I see. Washing each other, huh? This is great. This game's full of really creepy, stupid shit. Alright, let's go. We don't need food. Let's go down the stairs. Woo! Let's go to the main lobby, and then we'll go to the other island. Is anyone in the lobby right now? Nope. No one's in the lobby. That was a point. Outside. Yeah. Hooray. Now we're out on an adventure again, walking around at the speed of slow. So that means uh, Wendy is getting a bath right now. That's fun. So let's go do that in a little bit. <laughs> we don't need to see them. I don't think you can even interact with their door. It's like this door is locked, you know. So oh wait, let me check my let me check my Tamagotchi really quick. I have not checked my Tamagotchi. Oh, it's Tamagotchi. We don't need to clean it. Okay, it's gonna evolve pretty soon. No. It's circle, not X. Damn it. Crap. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and I know the new around. Turn around, Barry. Finally found a right snack. And people are punching it in the back. Let's just run. Let's evolve it like normal. We're gonna evolve our Monokuma thing. We're gonna evolve our Tamagotchi thing. We're gonna evolve our smelly pixel thing. We're gonna evolve. We're, we're gonna evolve. My legs are real skinny. I'm running past the airport. Gonna go and flirt with some girls that don't exist. Are they down to fist? Yay! It finally evolved. Let's see. Here we go. There you go. Now my adorable small is in a cocoon. I cleaned its poop. And we're fine. Oh, to the island! To the island. To the central island. Now we can go to island two, guys. I'm just gonna warp. Like, I'm gonna warp run to it. Okay, it's not. Oh, that's island five. It's island four. Island three. Coverwalk Park. Island two. Got it. She's right. The monobeast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monami was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? Alright, I guess I should find out. Whoa. Here we go, guys. Island 2. What's in this place? The new island. It does look like a new island. It looks cool. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Yeah. Well, now's another time for me to make carefree observations. There might be a clue telling us how to leave this island. I need to find it. Whoa. And away I go. All right, let's see what's on this island, guys. Slowly explore. Slowly explore. Ooh, what's this? Ancient ruins. All right, let's look at the ancient ruins, guys. Ruins. It's all ruined. Ugh, look at this big-ass building with trees growing out of it. Hey, Chiaki. What's this enormous building? It has the ambience of an ancient ruin, but the shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Chiaki, are you... No, you're sleeping again. You're a little sleepy, narcoleptic Chiaki, aren't you? Slop her awake. Hey, Chiaki. Ooh. Ah, sorry. I, I was dozing for a bit. You don't look like you were dozing. You look like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's this huge building? Hmm, it looks like some sort of ruins or a historical landmark. Ancient ruins? Is that what you think, too? But it's not like the typical ancient ruins, don't you think? I don't know how to say it clearly, but... Yep. Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. A special place? I'll, t I'll show you my special place. I'll, I'll check around here a bit more so you can go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants me to be alone so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep. Yeah, leave it to me. Gee, she's completely doing her own thing, but her smile is so innocent. That's even more annoying to deal with. Okay, Chiaki, peace. Have fun. I've also heard there's a lot of really meta, like, games inside of this game games coming up. So I hope I can get to one of those really soon so I can show it off to you guys. To the library. Nice. Nice. What's in the library? The entire works of Bram Stoker, his one book that people know. Wow, this is an impressive amount of books. 
probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Okay, what can I interact with? Okay, we got a statue, we got a monitor, we got a broken thing, we got Sonya. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma? It looks so arrogant. What lame taste. Oh, maybe that's like the statues that you're supposed to build in the first one, that bonus game. Bronze statue of Monami. I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. You're getting treated like a nuisance. Even though there's a statue, that's pretty sad. So guys, uh, I, this is all blind to me now because I stopped playing after the class trial originally and that's when I noticed that my microphone was corrupt. So, I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility at rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, like, doesn't a resort not need a library like this? It is very true and just as expected, nobody in here is here either. You're right, the fact that we're only we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Monami is here and I'm reading a book. Ah, since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um, I see. Uh, it's clear from your face I'm a nuisance since I was more energetic than usual. I feel uh, emptier now. And what, what about your explanation? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do your homework. So I've prepared this library. Prepared you? Hee hee hee. Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. I am a teacher. You, you're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Yeah, real identity? Now that's silly. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh no! Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. I cannot believe she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. According to this island guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means? These are probably things that they have donated. Hold on, did you say this island's guidebook? I found it in the library. Would you like to take a look? Yes, I would, actually. Hooray. What language is this? I have no clue. It's English. It looks like English. They should have made up a language. Then I shall read it to you on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? Mm -hmm. I am fluent in 30 different languages, and it is a requirement for the members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family really have a limit? Okay, here we go. Mm, Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Biyaku Yaku 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 Shmaku told us. Hooray, look at all those islands, everybody. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses large administrative building. Huh? Oh man. No, oh, is that this strange? I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island? That is a park now, huh? Yeah, there was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things that were there were uh, Monokuma Rock and then the park. Oh no. No, so according to guidebook, it says that there is bronze statue in lobby of building which symbolizes island. Huh, is that? It's that big fucking thing. Are you talking about the bronze statue that had the Mono Beast, but that statue is in the middle of the park, not the lobby of the same building? What? That's not all, there is another description that's- Oh no, I hit button by accident, according to guidebook. The only way to travel between five islands is boat. Huh? Well, some people wanted bridges. Critics worried about their effect on environment, so none were built. What does that mean, then? What were we using to move before the islands? No. There is possibility that these places are artificial islands like Palm Jumeirah. <sighs> Palm Jumeirah, an artificial island? Well Palm Jumeirah is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. Duh! That is especially maybe why we are only ones on island. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No, an island this size could be completely artificial. See, guidebook must be old too. It contradicts everything about this island's current situation. My, my, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here. However, those guys aren't the only ones with something on, on such a massive scale. Those guys, the hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Mm -hmm. It's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Whoosh. Hey, hold on a second. Before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared, as usual. Could it be Island is completely artificial? There's no way that is true. There's no way. This guidebook has to be old. You are right, thank you. That's right, it's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things to confuse us. Damn it, there's no way I'd fall for that. Oh no, what else can I interact with? Okay, there's books on the wall, there's Pico, and then there's more books. Hmm, what language is this? French, Italian, I don't even know. 
Oh no. Hmm, such strange, interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? The newest issue of occult magazine that breaks the lid of underground mysteries and wonders of world. That is quite a surprise. Yeah, I know. You know who hates the occult? Stoner Joe. It does not like I read it often. I am just reading it because I had special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. It seems writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack Yay! is mentioned in the article. Yay! Connecting the games together. Good job, guys. Even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. She was crazy. Um, that Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard that about her before. Genocide Jack is a legend Japanese serial killer who has reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular amongst, youth, amongst youths and is known for writing messages in blood that scene of crime. Wow. Apparently, she is a high school or middle school student who wears sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know many high school uniform, high school or middle school girls who wear sailor uniforms these days? Ah, this one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling Justice is regular subject of these uh, exclusive articles. I shall explain to you just in case. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who calls themselves Ally of Justice. Oh man, she's pumped up. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonya, calm down. Thanks to all masks, Sparkling Justice wears nobody knows real age or gender. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes. Hey, you two. I've been listening to you for a while now, but Why are you talking about murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any of the talking. Please, Please hold on. It is no mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers, their values... No, oh, crap. Serial killers, their value system is very different than norm. What a marvelous existence. Oh man, she just moaned. Ah, I am totes intrigued. This is kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation. Regardless, it's clearly a different place for your princess who's obsessed with kill serial killers, man. Okay, we got that wall of books, another wall of books, and Pico, and then we should be done exploring this. The books on this shelf, what language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't even feel like forcing myself to read them. Okay, Pico. Come on, Peko. I agree that serial killers have different values than normal people, but why does it make them marvelous? Sonya's values may be a little different compared to her own. Well, she is a princess, after all. Okay. Okay, cool. We only need to look at the other books. Okay, next. Okay, what's next, guys? What's next past the library? It's the pharmacy. Hooray, time to get our drug on. Time to get some high-grade medicine. Medicine. Time to get some high- Now, of course, the nurse is here. Hello, Mikan. Did you find any drugs you like? Squeeze! You know, I'm gonna squee as well. Will I squee in the next D? What's with you? No, oh, I'm sorry. I got so excited I started shouting. You! I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before, people hated me or were even grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, more importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it does look like there's no one else here either. Um, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses and injuries. <laughs> If you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. What kind of shots are we talking about? I'm not going to say it. Lots and lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Well, I'll hang out with Makan later. Oh, I guess I guess it's just monitoring medicine on the wall. Let's look at these supplements. These shelves are crammed with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look way more potent. Okay, bye, Mikan. Have fun looking at all the pills. I'll, don't drug me or anything. Okay, what's next? The pharmacy looks cool. I, I'd hang out at the pharmacy. Oh, nice! Diner! The diner. Front. Oh, man, we got Mon Monokuma burgers. Is that what that is? Is that a Monokuma pig twirling around? No, it's just a normal pig. Oh, man, the signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Okay, here I go. Diner. Nice. Who's at the diner? Nope, no one's at the diner. Huh? That looks like... Nope, someone's at the diner. Huh? Oh, it's you. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. The Higo started and suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. What does he know about the new island? Okay. Tell me. Hey, why are you here? How did you find out so we can, you, we can go on this new island? 
Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person? Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Fine, I will. Hey, about that annoying person. Huh? Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together, bitch. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together, bitch. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? I'm not avoiding you, bastards. I've decided not to rely on anyone. Not rely on anyone? This includes the Kuzu Ryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't, don't, act, don't get it twisted. I'm Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just wanted to prove I've earned it. Prove I'm tough. I can tough it out on my own without relying on my clan. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister will be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? You brought it up yourself. Anyway, I don't intend to spend my time with you guys. Nothing good can come from it. Nothing good can come from it? Hmm, isn't it just obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten their lifespan. Those idiots, Biyaku Yaku Yaku and Taro Taro Hanamaru, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's time to kill. You're still saying that? Of course. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. Heh. <laughs> you're the one who spoke with me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. You're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. Okay, I will. What the hell? Ugh, I, it was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. Well, I probably had to anyway. Oh, we can't be a jukebox hero. We can't interact with a jukebox. Drinks and sandwiches? Sign me up. Leave here, yeah, fine. So we'll play this part for about a minute more, and then we'll do more one more episode. Oh, my spine. Oh, is that a bird? There's seagulls on the ground. Oh, I can look at the camera. Look at the billboard. Let's read the billboard really quick. It's a diner signboard, and it's spinning. That looks like a delicious sandwich. A spinning restaurant signboard on an uninhabited island is kind of freaky. Ooh, Chandler Beach. Chandler Bing. Nice. Who knew that Chandler had his own beach? No, ah, Ikki! Don't know! A scream. That voice just no. Wasn't it a bookie? Oh no, on the next installment of Rampa 2. We're going to record one more episode today. I think I've earned it. We are going to see if Ibuki's okay. She probably got stabbed or she saw a bug or something. So I will see you guys in the next part of Rampa 2. What happens next? You'll have to find out.